MJ, come here. So, what are we going to do today? It's already six. We, we filmed something for a movie called Los Angeles Ripper and, and something for a movie called Unholy Reunion, you know, for the features. And, we, you know, it's already six. And what are we going to do today? Stop that smelling fingers business. Well, I, I might as well tell you stop that eating business. MJ, that, that's not something that I can help. Well, this isn't something I can help. But what are we going to do today? I mean, I don't know what, what to do. Well, are we going to a movie later? I don't know. I have no idea. Oh, silly me. I completely forgot to start this video. Before I met up with you today, I got the chance to see the 3D version of Cloudy with the... No, 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 don't do that. Okay, all right. Don't do that 3D. Don't do that crap again, all right? Okay, I won't. All right. Well, I got the chance to see Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs yeah. in, in 3D, and I, um, it was really good, and it would be a lot easier if you would stay in one spot. All right. Well, um, I'd like to say that Anna Ferris did the voice of the main girl in it. I forgot who did the main guy, um, and the food looked delicious, and it was based off of the book, and I loved the book as a kid. I've been reading it since I was in kindergarten, and it was, um... Who else? I think um, Mr. T did a voice in it. Neil Patrick Harris did a voice in it. And um, who else? And Mark Mothersbaugh did the music. And there was honestly nothing about it that wasn't good. And I saw two really cool trailers in it too. There was a trailer for the new Astro Boy movie. I'm really looking forward to because I love like Astro Boy. And then there's that Michael Jackson. What was that thing called again? Like this is it, I think. This, that's it. This is it. That looks really good as well. I'm really looking forward to that. And I, and I said, um, rest in peace, Michael Jackson. No. All right. No more of that. 3D. One MJ. You are a douchebag. You know that. Okay. Now, what were you? You want to say something about the star ratings for Climate yeah, Chance of Meatballs? To yeah, I didn't get to finish. So basically, with all of what I've said before, um, I'd recommend seeing it in 3D. There was nothing that I couldn't see fine with it, so I absolutely, I mean, there's nothing that was not good about it, so I see no reason not to give it five out of five stars. And I didn't even get to see this because you went in the morning because I was sleeping in. So you were sleeping in and you refused to see it with me later today for some reason because you insisted on seeing Jennifer's body. I thought it was Pablo Picasso's body. Well, either way, I would have, like, I'd much rather like to see, would have liked to have seen Cloudy the Chance of Meatballs. Or what about feeling. the one we haven't seen yet, you know, I'm Julia Child, you do a little warm in the sauce. I still have a feeling I'd like the Meatballs movie better than those two. All right, MJ, so we've decided what we're going to do. We're going out to an area, and we're going to see Jennifer's booty, and that's what we're going to do. Yeah, whatever else happens, happens. Whatever else happens, happens. Thanks, Jen. So, MJ, you getting your your soda or your pop? As, as people, don't you know people call some in other parts of the country things pop? Like, what is that about? It's like called soda. Exactly, pop is a verb. This is pop. Like that's pop. Pop, pop. You know, like snap, clap, pop. This is called soda. So, MJ, what do you think of poulet roulette? Love it. Kind of pricey. But it's yeah. Worth it because it's, it's not. It's, it's so not good. cheap. It's gourmet food, MJ. When you get gourmet food, MJ, you're paying for price. Yeah. Come on, MJ. Let's go to the car. <sighs> I'm not much of one for soda. Anyway. And, and you know what's funny is when this video ends, it's gonna end with like three clips of video we filmed. We were filming Trail Park of Living Dead since we only end, we didn't end up getting to film enough to make a full vlog. So it's gonna end with the clips of we actually shot there. So this video is gonna end with stuff that was filmed for prior to now. Yes. How does that make you feel? It's quite a twist, like a time travel twist. I know. You know, MJ, while we're eating these mushrooms, you know, yeah. lots of mushrooms, you know, it's a, making me think, you know, I feel like this is the kind of food where, you know, like women would buy it, like wives would buy this food and put it in a pot when they get home and make it look like they made it. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like, yeah, I swear, years ago when I was a kid, friends and people I, you know, I knew, I feel like I've had this food before, and I think now I know why. Yeah, you know, what if it was, you know, the wives, like the mothers and stuff, pretended like they made it? Because, you know, this actually reminds me of years ago. Back, like, when I was, like, seven or eight, we used to have, like, parties at my house. Because, like, my, my grandmother, who's not alive anymore, though, but she always wanted to have parties. And we had one at the house, and it was, like, supposed to be, like, a cookout. And no one, like, my dad doesn't do cookouts, so we don't really do all that cookout stuff. So you know what we did? Mm. 
there used to be a Boston Market right next to the house. So he went over to Boston Market and bought everything there. <laughs> so he bought the chicken that was already fully cooked. And my dad set it on the grill and made it look like he cooked it. And then we bought, he got the cornbread there. And then these two old women named the Hyatt sisters or something. They were like, oh, can we have the recipe to this? And they kept on asking my mom and my mom's like, secret family recipe. And they're like, please. And they used to always ask for years later, can we get the recipe to that cornbread? And they used to always say, Oh, what are they going to do if they ever go to Boston Market? <laughs> Isn't that funny, though? Like, all the dishes, the mashed potatoes, we didn't make anything. Yeah, one day if Laura and I are having people to the house, and, um, you know, we don't have time to cook, I should tell her that trick. I go, you know, honey, I know this trick I learned. Um, Sean's family actually knows that. Uh, we, I go, let's just, and she's like, what is it? I go, well, let's go to Boston Market. And you don't have to do buy, all, buy all the sides and big dishes, and then we can make it. We could just dump those sides in the pots and put them on low heat and make it look like you're cooking them. And then, and then I'll be like, "Oh wait!" And then I'll like put my hand into the sink and then sort of flick it on her face. She's like, "What are you doing?" I go, "I got to make it look like you were sweating your butt off to do this. Otherwise, it's going to look like you didn't work your ass off to do it." And then everyone's going to ask, "Can I have the recipe of those muffins and all that?" And you'll be like, "Secret family recipe between me and Miles." Yeah, that's the. Uh, that's what's funny. It really is a secret, and. What's the, the tough thing is we really can't tell the secret because we don't know it. I know, and if anyone else out there has ever done anything like that, been schemed us and fiendish like my family was, let me know. Let's go there. And that guy down there has been like, like keeps peeking at us. He's like cleaning up, and you notice he keeps peeking at us like this real weird face, like, I hope they, like they're enjoying our food or something. It's like, what? what? It'd be funny if he's like, I touched that food. I'm like, ew. Now here's the deal. We don't tell Dad we didn't make this food, and we say we made it for him. Okay, Mom. Sushi. Oh, God bless you. No, no, sushi, sushi, sushi. Jeez, you okay? You need a tissue? Bless you. All right, MJ. MJ, don't you just love Five Below? Yeah, it's a love. I know, and you know, it sounds like one of the few places that plays truly good music. This is true. When you think about it, like they actually play like true '80s music, and they don't. Oh yeah, this is an entire place. Look at that place, jeez. It's like real calm, I could sit calm, there all day. collected, and private. Especially like at this time of day. Wouldn't you like to just be in there drinking cocktails? Yes. With Carlos and Bob and... Eating food. Tom Hanks, What's you know what I'm talking about. Wouldn't it be great to be in there with Tom Hanks? You know, like, you know that really funny disc jockey? Yeah. You know, Tom Hanks. Yeah. What, MJ, what? Tom Hanks? I'm messing with you, MJ. Damn. MJ, I cannot believe who we ran into. Okay. Your old cousin, Clint. Yeah. Hey, come here, buddy. How's it going, man? Aren't hey. you on YouTube, too, Clint? I am, indeed, on YouTube. What's your channel? It's uh, CK Horror Man. And, um, I thought I'd, you know... I had a feeling that you would be up here, so... I don't know how you thought you guessed that, well, but I mean... If it's a movie theater, you know we'll yeah, be it's, there. It's, I guess it's that family bond that we have. You know kind of twins, how twins have that oh, yeah. connection? I mean, yeah. Not really twins, it's just that I know. That I used bond. To have, my hair used to be like that, too. Now, so, we're yeah. going to go see Jennifer's body now. Is your mom all right with you seeing that? She is perfectly fine with it. I mean, I have a written note from her in my back pocket saying that it's okay. Okay. But, yeah, I mean, I'm only 13, so... <laughs> I had to get her written permission, but hopefully they'll accept yeah, it. Yeah, because um, Aunt Lucy is always she's always real strict about what I let you see. I know. <laughs> so let's go in there and get the tickets, and then we're like, you know, we walk around Toys R Us or something. Well, if you want to get a toy. Well, we, a toy or something, Clint, we'll buy you one. Yeah. So Clint, you got to get some school supplies. Is that right? Yeah, I also need to get some skincare products. You do? Here. Oh. What kind do you use? Um. 315 lipstick. Now, MJ, how are you and Clint related? Well, our, both our dads are brothers. Oh. You don't see the resemblance? I've never seen either of you. I've never seen you before, though, Clint. Well, I'd like to keep some things in my life private. Yeah. Oh. Um, this is the first time I've been out in about a year and a half. What do you do normally? You don't want to know. Oh. It involves a lot of things on the internet. Oh. I probably can't say on YouTube. So MJ, are you going to buy Clint any special toys? Now Clint, is there any toys you want? Well, there's one toy that I know I could challenge him at and possibly might win. What toy is that, MJ? Well... I 
I don't know, Clint from the sound of it is very well known in bopping it. Clint, do you think you're be all right with bopping it? I think I can actually beat MJ's score. Okay. I told you, MJ, he's a bopping champion. And you found, I can't believe, Clint, you found Kel's new movie, Siege Run. Yeah, um, I'm a big Kel fan. I have posters of them all over my wall. Was well, that show even on when you were a kid, or was it kind of more like in the reruns? Like too. Yeah. Like when I saw the reruns. Yeah, we, we showed you the reruns. Yeah, Aunt Shannon. Yeah. yeah she used to show me all the reruns. Yeah, we oh, yeah. showed you all the, um... Yeah, you good. should stop by, though. She really misses you. Yeah, I know. I miss her, too. Yeah, she barely recognized you now. Okay. No, no. Aren't you into like the horror films now? But you like those. I don't. You like like I know what you did last summer. All those new ones. What's with you in that? I, I don't know. There's just something about '90s horror that I love. I mean, '80s horror is terrible. What? It's all about '90s. It's all about I know what you did last summer. I love. I still know what you did last summer. Even more. I'm sure you love the newest one too. I yeah. still still know, or I always yeah, knew what I you still, did. I always still, know. Always. I yeah, what's always with know. you in that? Clint, you gotta start raining. I'll bet you're gonna be raving about the sequel. I, mean, I, I, I grew, no matter what we'll always I grew know what up in nineteen ninety seven, what can you expect? That was right what I liked. I'm sure you like help. I'm sure you love Fred too, right? Yeah, Fred is the best. Mm. Love Fred. Uh, MJ, why are we in another toy area of, and now we're in Walmart? I mean, you know, Clint, we're not getting you any toys, you know. Toys are my thing. I know, I know you want something, Clint, but you know, you've got to do more yard work and the stuff that you need to do to get toys. And if you want any toys, you have to fight me for it. Let's not do videos like that, MJ. We'll look like nerds. All that ice. So, guys, now we're going to go in to see Jennifer's body. and You bought a ticket to a PG movie and you're going to try and sneak in, right? Uh, yeah, hopefully. I because they didn't accept that note. I knew they weren't going to accept that note. They can kind of just, you know, hide behind me when we yeah. sneak in. Yeah. So go ahead, Cousin Cliff. Cliff. Wait, your name's Clint. Why am I saying Cliff? I guess they look like Clifford. I guess. We've been talking about it a lot, too. So, MJ, what's your opinion? Do you think this is going to be a good movie? I don't know. I mean, the only real reason to see it is the title, Jennifer's Body. You only see it so you can see Jennifer's body. And there's no nudity in MJ, so don't even... So what's the point? I don't know, MJ. So, we just got out of seeing Jennifer's body. Yeah. And you don't see Jennifer's body, and there's no nudity. Shamefully. And so, Chip, yeah. I know you were upset about that. Chip? It's alright, son. I'll, or, cuz, I'll go get you, I'll go get you something dirty What's later. What's your name again? Cliff, it's like Clint. Cliff. Clint. Yeah, why do I keep calling you Chip? It's like, I don't... The guy, well, the guy in Jennifer's body's name was Chip. So. Yeah, maybe that's why. Yeah, it kind of looks like Olive Barrett Oliver, you know, the main kid in the Neverending Story, the first one. He killed himself. In real... Oh, yeah. Barrett Oliver? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Not, no, not Barrett Oliver, the second one. Yeah, the second yeah, one. Right. Yeah. He killed himself. Not Barrett Oliver. One of the kids from Neverending Story killed himself. Yeah. But basically this movie was about Megan Fox, mm -hmm. And the Amanda girl Siegfried, I think. It mean was girls. Mean Girls and Big she, Love and a she bunch. She looks of... a lot like Laura to you, my girl Laura. I guess so. I'm I down. think she does. But don't you think that she was more attractive than uh, Megan Fox? Yeah, way more. Megan Fox, I don't know. She's all right. I mean, I don't know. Maybe she's hot, but I mean. I think I even heard Sean say that she uh, he saw Megan Fox had an Adam's apple going on. Yeah, she's got a slight manishness. Maybe she uh, just had, it was a deformity or something. I don't know. We shall see. I'll admit, though, it was way better than I thought it would be. I don't know. It was all right. It was basically, it starts off with them, her as a normal girl, and then they go to this concert, and something happens. I don't want to ruin things about it, because they didn't reveal any of those plots in the trailer, so I don't want to ruin it. But then she becomes a demon. We'll just say that. Yeah, well, like, possessed or something like that. She's not a werewolf. You said she was a werewolf. I'm like, what? I don't know. So, and then she starts eating people. Yeah. yeah. But the thing is, like, if you were going to pick watching this or Ginger Snaps, you'd go with Ginger Snaps. Definitely. Didn't see Ginger Snaps, so I'd go with this for now. No, if you saw Ginger Snaps, you'd change your mind pretty quick. It's one of the like, like the best like werewolf kind of kind of films. Like this really was a werewolf movie, kind of. Although she didn't so change. It wasn't a werewolf. Yeah. Sort of, but it's very difficult to explain. And when you compare it to Juno, it was kind of like that. Kind of. The thing is, it wasn't really bad though. It had some. I don't know. It had a lot of that same 
dialogue Juno had. I mean, yeah. Considering it was written by the same person, but did, didn't you guys? I kind of had a hard time understanding what they meant sometimes. It was like they were saying stuff, and I don't know. I guess I'm just not. Hit. No, some of the movie was going all over the place. Yeah. Like one minute you thought those two girls were like into each other, Which and all of a sudden they weren't, got, and it was like, wait, what? It got funny half the time though. It was kind of. I mean, even though you didn't get it, still, I mean, it was really good. And there was one scene in the movie that's absolutely just worth the. $8 yeah, itself. that was one of the greatest things I've ever seen. <laughs> that scene when they show Amy Sedaris' room with her in it, that was the scene. Rum? The room. Her 70s style room. Well, that, that was, was the cool. Yeah, that was cool, but that's not the one we're yes, talking that about. That's definitely not the one we're uh, talking about. Yeah. <laughs> Do you mean that scene with Chip? No. Oh. Well, well yeah, that, a lot of people I don't know great, what scene you scene mean. The we're but talking about. When you see it, you'll know. It goes on. It, it, you it's, will know. It goes sometimes, on sometimes drawn out scenes aren't good, but this is a drawn out scene you will love. Indeed. And when you it, see it, you'll love it. And it was funny was J.K. Simmons was in this again. Yeah, it's he's like, like he's in, he's in had everything had like that. Yeah, he was an extract. He's had a comeback. I know. And somebody else was named Simmons, so maybe it was his son. I don't know. Um, yeah, the kid from not really kid, but the guy from uh, the big dude, the really cool guy from what was it? I love you, Beth Cooper was in this. Yeah, he was in a lot of movies, I think. Yeah, he's been. He's, and yes. then there's a surprise cameo in one point in the movie. We're not going to say who. Were you still kind of surprised to see him? Yeah, yeah. I, I was. Also I Kyle was some, cool. There's also Kyle. I don't know his last name. He was in um, Hunting, Connecticut, the main kid. And he played The Flash in Smallville. So he was in it too. And I felt like for one second I saw the guy who plays Patrick from SpongeBob really quick. Mm -hmm. But I don't think he, if his cameo was in it, it was really short. But the, I think the stuff with the band I really liked, but I felt like the band stuff could have been extended more. Yeah, some of the cinematography was amazing, though. At it certain was. points, it was really good. It was. It was, it was. The movie, it's definitely worth watching. It is. And it's not just theaters. like one of those movies where it's like all about girl dressed in like tight outfits and stuff. It wasn't just, it was actually, no, it, actually, a, it was was. actually was a movie. Yeah. But they're promoting it like that's sort of what right. it is. So honestly, I'd give it four out of five. I would say see it in theaters. And well, how many stars would you give it? Uh... I'd probably say about three, maybe. Mm. And do you think you're going to review it on your channel? What's it again? Um, CK Horror Man, but I also do reviews on UpcomingHorrorMovies.com. So. And I believe our friend Johnny Doolin. Doolin yeah, Johnny it, Doolin, the guy who wrote um, Sasquatch Assault, who wrote Banshee. Banshee. Is yeah, all, he does yeah. reviews for UHM also, so if you want to check out good horror movie reviews, check out UHM. And we appreciate you playing along with our trick today. Yes. Um, cousin. Yeah, I'm not really MJ's. Cousin, even though we both have the same last name. Um, You're actually 21 years I am old. 21. I'm not 13, like I said. And we actually met you out here to do an interview with you for your assignment you were doing. Yep. Uh, and it was great meeting you guys. I had, oh, great yeah, meeting you too. Had a ton of fun. Uh, and hopefully you post the video online if you can. Yes, yeah, so I will definitely. I'm sure people would like that. Yeah, I'll try to edit it up and get it on my channel. Yeah, so nice be on the lookout for that. And hopefully your teacher likes our interview questions. Yeah, I think she will. So if Teach sees this, hey, Teach. So, oh yeah, and MJ. Yeah. Well, maybe another shot with us. But would you like to say goodbye? See you guys later. Bye. In the car in the night, who is on my right? Hey, MJ. Quite a fright. Yeah. So we're having some late night eats, and since we started so late today, we only ate lunch and we ate lunch at like six we're eating everything all arse backwards and and then you got you know late night moon cheese at mcdonald's because we don't normally eat this place that's all that was open there's nothing else there's no other opportunities so we're eating mac and me's favorite food yeah that was a good movie now mj yeah screw you fat bastard watch your language mj now mj what is what's in there mj one of my favorite things in the world. What? The Angus Burger. Damn. With mushrooms and cheese. And you were telling me that once you ate two of those and two orders of fries and what else? And a bag of chips and ice cream. Uh, two so I was hungry once. That that's about a normal big appetite for me. Now one thing people don't know about you is, I'm a fat guy, but you eat more than I do. I do. And you don't gain any weight. You must take a lot of Dukes. No, I'm I'm like the Flash. I just burn it all. I know, and now we're going to tell something something kind of funny that's going to happen. This video is all of a sudden, it's going to cut to video that was shot like, mm -hmm. I think, four or five days ago when we were finishing the Babette Bombshell film, Trail Park of the Living Dead. Mm -hmm. We went back, because there's a few things the first time we didn't get to finish. The only problem was, it was such a busy time, we only got to film like three sequences, like three things, like one of you as a zombie, mm -hmm. and a few other things. And Are you alright, MJ? This is better than 
working on summer. Mm. I recommend it. It's a, and unlike that fake crap they usually use, it's actually real meat. Real Angus. Mm. Yeah. Anything else, MJ? Good night, everyone. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Yeah. Don't touch, or I will kill you. All right. With my bare hands. All right. Hey, MJ. I'm not MJ. Who are you then? None of your business. Whoever you are, do you want to go to the Waffle House later? No. Hello. MJ, what? Hey. Uh, MJ, is that what? you? Did you have a big fall on your face? This wouldn't cause a fall in my face. This is fake, you idiot. Oh. No, I think, uh... Did Max... Max, did... Max punched you in the face and popped out your eyeball. Now, Victor, you were with Max when we were seeing, um, Dan Aykroyd. Now, yeah. what do you think of Max? Max was... He was a total jerk face. You really think that little cream pup could do this to me? You got something else coming. No, that... That goatee he had was pretty rough. You know, Max is back in jail now. My pubes wow, are rougher really? than that. Oh, wow. What do you do this time? Yeah. Robbery. Mm. What a shame. An attempted murder. Attempted? Yeah. At least he didn't get away with it. Yeah. MJ, uh, you have a hair on your eyeball. Yeah, it's really irritating. Doesn't that tickle when I pull it across? Oh. Yeah. Mm. Uh, pull that off, Victor. Oh, oh yeah. Wow. Wow, that's be that felt better than an orgasm, I, I swear were, to God. Never knew you were white. Really? Yeah. I thought you were green, MJ. Yeah. You're an alien, aren't you? Huh? And MJ, Why? where's your derby hat? 